Thanks for coming, and uh, I want to start off like I normally do with uh, thanking our crowd. A noon game against the Mac opponent, and still every seat was filled. And I keep hearing about how student bodies across the country aren't showing up at games. Ours certainly is, and I want to thank them and never take them for granted. When they look up there, they will be there for you. So I think a big reason why we jumped out fast was uh, of, the, of the environment created by our students and our fans. So I just want to make sure we can show our appreciation. Uh, thought our guys played well. You know, obviously uh, a little talent advantage, but we wanted, we had to have a game like this. You know, normally that's a first game, especially when you have a young quarterback and, and uh, young offensive line. And, but uh, glad we played, we did, like we did. Uh, I thought we would after the week of practice. Good. We've all been in those games where you just sloppy for the first 30 minutes and it wasn't that case. So uh, time to move on, uh, bye week. And then uh, get ready. I watched Cincinnati last night, and they're a very talented team. So we uh, we're gonna put everything we can to get win that game here in two weeks. Front row, Bill. Other than getting a win, what did you really want to see today? And what did you really learn about the team today? A fast start and see guys play. There's a lot of guys. We want to get a lot of reps and. Uh, the young receivers from the Corey Smith to the Michael Thomas continues to improve. Um, you know, we wanted to get Nick Vanette the ball in his hand a little bit. Uh, we did not play Jeff Hireman, he was hurt. Uh, probably could have played him, but we made the decision to sit him. He has a stress reaction on his foot, same foot where he had surgery. So he'll be back ready to go in two weeks. I think we made the right decision. We're going to sit him this week as well. Uh, and then Monday, uh, Cincinnati week, he'll be full speed. So I wanted to see a quick start. I wanted to see some young players play, and uh, even players that have, are considered starters here. There's just so many guys out there, from the Billy Prices to the uh, uh, Darrell Baldwin, just wanted to get a lot of reps, and uh, we did that today. Standing left, Austin. Herbie, can you provide any insight on what, what has happened with Noah Spence? Do you have, mm. what would be the impact moving forward? If you can't yeah, that, was, uh, that was a sucker punch boy when I got that phone call. Uh, you know, I, it happened late in the week. So we're getting ready to play a game, and uh, we'll know more. I, I don't know much other than he was not he was declared he couldn't play for this weekend. And what's the future hold for him? I don't know. Right, Tim. Urban, as you watched your defense play today, what's the what stood out to them to you as far as like effort, etc.? Yeah, I think effort was good. I think with the nine throws, you know, that's where I. Uh, the challenge I have for it, and you're really going to be challenged in two weeks with that uh, Cincinnati group of receivers and the quarterback. But I think everybody's heard me say I just want to challenge throws, and uh, I thought you saw that today. Once again, uh, not taking anything away from Kent, our opponent, but we're you know, obviously overmatching a little bit. And I wanted to see what I saw, and it seemed like they were you know, they had a hard time moving the ball, us, which that should happen. Far left, Ari. In the first, at the end of the first quarter, you had eight different receivers catching pass running backs all over the place. Um, I know you, that was part of your plan to get as many people touches, but is that kind of the plan to win that you guys need to follow moving forward to get, you know, spread this ball around to those guys? And I think so. You know, you have, the, you have mixed emotions about having that one guy that's going to be a thousand yard rusher, you know, in the past. Um, we have, I think Carlos Pivo told me it was our first thousand yard rusher. That doesn't mean we've, we've always been kind of the top ten in America rushing, but we need to spread it around a little bit. Um, so I got the mixed emotions. I, you know, Zeke's our starting tailback, but he only had uh, seven carries. Curtis Salmon, we started feeding until I think he's got a really good future here. He got 100 yards. Um, and we have a group of six receivers who are kind of in a rotation right now. So uh, receivers, you want to have rotation. Uh, receiver, the way we ask him to play, really shouldn't play more than 35, 40 plays a game. Uh, tailback, you know, I think uh, we've settled in on two that are going to be kind of our workhorses for us. And we're still kind of trying to figure out who we are offensively. You know, it's, the identity was clear two years ago. It was Braxton Miller right, Braxton Miller left, because that was kind of our best player. Last year we uh, developed this big tailback and a uh, really good offense line, so that identity was started. But I still, at this point, um, we have, I think we have a lot of speed. You can tell us Trump, we're trying to get guys in open space to see what they can do. Because you got Jalen Marshall, who's a very talented guy, Dontre Wilson. I mean, if you go down the list, but we're still trying to uh, get our hands on exactly who's going to touch that ball. Second row right, Dom. Urban, can you talk uh, about JT's day? Uh, set tied the record, rather, set by Kenny last year. 
six touchdown passes. Just what you saw that you liked today? Yeah, on purpose. Uh, and that was I, uh, early in the first half. I wanted to throw a lot. I wanted to uh, force him to make plays and, and uh, receivers. That's not just him. It's the whole combination of quarterback receivers. And uh, I thought he played good. You know, I thought he, there was a couple misses too now that we could have had. And uh, but a young quarterback needs to do that. And we actually did some empty, you know, I think he'll be a good empty quarterback, five receiver set. So we're still, once again, figuring out exactly how we're going to be moving the ball as an offense once we start getting to the Big Ten season. Front row left, Bob. Urban, is a, is a game like this, a lot of times there's questions about the value of these games. When you have a young quarterback like that, is that make put more value on the game like this just for getting him the reps. I hope these games don't you know some because now we shouldn't play him and I, I was at bowling green and, and uh, I think you should play him. I think we played very well today. That doesn't mean Ken had a great day Mike. Uh, you you've seen it before but also there's a shocker. So uh, I like it as a first game normally. Especially you know you can't forecast when you make these scheduling that you're gonna have a new quarterback and you got an offensive line but, this is what the doctor ordered when you do have young people that you have to be ready to play. Front row middle. Todd, Curry, you're going into the bye week with some time to figure some more things out. You played an unconventional team in the Navy, a decent team in Raw Tech, and an overmatched team today. Where are you guys at? Are you happy where you're, where you're at going into this bye week? I don't know what, that's a great question. And uh, what, uh, we're going to practice hard this week. You know, a lot of what you do on a bye week is depending on what kind of team you have. But our guys need repetitions. Football is a game of, you know, it's organized chaos out there. And the more often you can get players in those situations, uh, like on a Tuesday practice last Tuesday, I won 55 play. Uh, ones on ones, twos on twos, and I've never really done that before. And I didn't script it that way. I just, I was watching them practice and I'm looking at these young players out there that we need to get off, you know, get the coaches off the field and let them play. So I'm trying to get our players as many reps as possible by the time we get to the Big Ten season. And this was a, a, a great opportunity for that. So I, where are we? Do I like where we're at? I, I think so. We're two and one. Uh, you still have a sick feeling in your stomach about last week, but we're moving forward. And I see a lot of young guys that are, uh, you know, great futures in Ohio State. Far left standing, Doug. Urban, how would you describe how your team did handle this week? What their mood was, and how good do you want them to feel after a day like today? I want to feel good and uh, go into bye week and enjoy their families and show up uh, ready to go this week. So I thought they handled it very well. Uh, uh, one indication is how they came out. Uh, but the thing I keep going back to, Doug, not to keep changing where we're headed, but uh, you know, I, I've seen places where all of a sudden that stadium's half full. There's disinterest involved. That stadium was packed. And our, our players fed off that way. The skull session, you see all these people there. And, that does wake you up and get you up. It's a new game against the Mac school. There's a tendency to have zero enthusiasm and energy in the stadium. That wasn't the case. So uh, they responded well to the week and certainly to the day. Last question, far right, Clay. Yeah, Coach, playing that many players, did you see something from someone? Did you remark to one of your guys, I didn't know he could do that, playing almost everybody in the rotation? Oh, I was giving Dontre and Jalen and uh, Curtis Sam had a hard time they got caught today, each one of them. So they'll catch one guy got caught by a punter, I think. And so we'll give, we'll give those guys a hard time. But, uh, I think those, I think I, I'm really excited about our young skill. And I was hoping to try to get Buckeye Nation and uh, the stadium to see some of those guys out in open space. And Curtis Samuel and uh, Don Trangell are just off the top of my head, guys. I'm excited about getting out in open space. So. Right off, no I know you say you don't know, but is he done for the year, or is that still I undefined? Really undefined. Coach, thank you very much.